Hi everybody, welcome to the tutorial on how to install Thug Pro 0.6 on Mac OS. The two things you'll need are the Thug Pro setup from thugpro.com and Thug2 from the THBSX Discord. As you can see, I'm running Mac OS High Sierra 10.13 on a Mac Mini, a very low powered machine, but it does install Thug Pro. So first you want to navigate to the Reddit post that installs a previous version of Thug Pro. You're gonna you're still gonna need a lot of stuff that is in this actually just two lines honestly so you want to copy that first code block to install homebrew in your terminal just paste it in the terminal given you have admin privileges and it'll take a while to install this just hit return and put in your password and it should start so thank you reddit user jasper armstrong for this tutorial it helped a lot when i was trying to figure this out myself um, so yeah just let it go and it will install and once it's done, it'll bring you back to your username kind of thing. So from here, you want to install a couple more things that are in that Reddit post. So from the Reddit post, there will be another code block that installs cask room, cask, X quartz, um, wine, and wine tricks. So I'm going to do exactly what you did before and just copy it and then paste it in the terminal. Press enter if it doesn't automatically go. And it will say I already have it installed because I do have it installed, but it should run down the list of installing it for you without issue. All right, so from here, I believe we're going to we're going to create our um, wine prefix, which will hold all of the installs that we're going to be doing, um, not only Thug Pro but Thug Two. So from here, just do wine um, export wine prefix. Um, this is also in the Reddit post, but I called mine dot wine um, hyphen tutorial. You can call it anything you want. Just keep in mind what you're calling it at this moment. The architecture should be um, Win32. So from here, you want to um, reboot wine to make that directory. So wine, wine boot. And then you'll be able to see it in Finder, giving you have um, hidden folders and files shown. If you don't know how to do that, just a quick Google search and it'll, it's super easy to do. I get a bunch of this nonsense in the terminal, but it will show up in your finder. And I believe I do show that. All right, so when you're in your finder, just go to go to your user folder and you'll see .wine slash tutorial or whatever you called it. I have a couple of them because I've been toying with this for a while. Okay, so from here, you want to install wine trick. Well, you have wine tricks. Do wine tricks .net 20, .net 40, MDX, VC run 2013. So you need the .net 2, um, .net framework 2, .net framework 4, manage DirectX, and the um, Visual 2013 redistributal. And just go through all of the prompts that come up and hit OK. Just install them all. This won't be the last thing you need to install, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Before in the Reddit tutorial, it um, only required .NET 20, .NET 40, and some DirectX stuff. Um, that's why, I'm guessing that's why it doesn't work in this new version, but you won't need those two. That includes, because you're putting in manage DirectX. And it's taking care of that um, issue with the redist with the errors that caused some Thug Pro that we have in the announcements on the, the Discord. So you're already installing that, so you won't need to install it again, basically. But if you were to install it, there wouldn't be any harm. <laughs> so don't worry about that. It takes a while to get through this. Just keep your eye on it because you do need to hit next and all that fun stuff. Okay, so from here, you want to force an install of .NET Framework 4.6. It will not allow you to install it unless you force it, and this is required to get Thug Pro to work. 
I have had no luck installing it without this .NET 4.6 and that is why I cannot get Wine Bottler to work. I am not an expert in the, in the Mac field, believe me. So if anyone knows how to force an install of 4.6 with um, 2.0 also there, please tell me so I can make this in Wine Bottler. But this is the only way I know how to do it so far. So it'll say to repair it. You want to hit yes to install whatever it needs to install through repairing it. So again, be patient. It'll be worth it in the end, I promise. But 4.6 is required to get this to launch properly. All right, so it might have another prompt, I believe. Yes, there is another prompt. All right, so once that is installed, you don't have to restart. Everything's fine. So just wait for it all to kind of stop doing all its stuff. You'll 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 know when it's done when you have to do that. But in the meantime, we're going to navigate to disk utility and we're going to install Thug2. So you need the Thug2 from the THPSX Discord because it does not require you switching CDs or any of that garbage. All right. So within Disk Utility, um, well, here we are in the Discord. You need access to the THPSS content and navigate to the pin messages. Find where it says who else but me. That's gone, a Thug Pro developer. Click on that right there and navigate to the Thug2 full and download that. And you'll need to extract it to get the ISO. Don't don't extract the ISO. Don't, don't get ahead of yourself. But I already have it. So in Disk Utility, go to File, go to Open Disk Image, and navigate to your ISO. It's taking a while because I'm also installing through Terminal, so there's the ISO. So just go ahead and click it and hit Open. This is your easiest method of installing Thug2 on Mac, I promise you. So go ahead and go to the disk image and right click it, show in finder. And now you're gonna want to copy all of these files to a folder on your hard drive. So go ahead and select it all, copy them, and just make a folder on your desktop, your documents, wherever you want. Doesn't matter at the moment. Um, I put mine in Thug2 files, so you see all the files are right there. So that's what you wanna do. Just extract all the files from there. You don't have to keep it um, mounted in the disk utility i did by accident but you do not need to do that so now we wait for the terminal to be done now navigate to the thug2 folder you made by cd and then dragging the folder and then you want to do wine setup.exe that will run the thug2 setup under your wine prefix so for that um the CD goes to the directory. You just want to make sure that you're dragging the folder to the to the terminal that has the setup.exe. You don't want to drag the exe itself into the, um, the terminal, just the directory that it's located in. All right, so here we go with the installation of Thug2. It's super easy, thanks to Gone. Just go ahead, next, 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 and next, and next, and there you go. So you don't need to create a shortcut, it's not required. Then finish, and there we go. So now you wanna get the Thug Pro set up from thugpro.com. I already have it, 
So go ahead and navigate to that folder. Actually first, create a Thug Pro folder. It'll be an empty one and copy the exe into that folder. And now navigate to that folder within the terminal. Same thing, just drag it right there, hit enter. And then you want to do wine thug pro setup.exe and this will begin the thug pro setup. So just follow the prompts after all this stuff goes away. Then install and it'll ask you for your thug2 install which will already be in the prefix you're in so super easy don't have to panic just make sure you follow these instructions so hit ok and go to your c drive program files activision underground 2 and game that's it then it'll start installing it's going to install to that thug pro folder that you made i don't know how to change that and it'll come up with this error do not panic okay so now we're going to that thug pro folder select everything and now we're going to navigate to our uh, you need to copy it we're going to navigate to our prefix so make sure you have hidden folders on so one tutorial drive c users my user's name is admin so go to your username then go to local settings application data and there's your thug pro folder in the thug pro folder paste all of that stuff Now I made a mistake in the next couple seconds here after trying to, to launch it. So you'll see a mistake, but it, it may be, it might help. I don't know. You'll see that the Thug Pro EXE has an underscore in front of it. You should not have that. You will see why in a second. So navigate to that folder, the Thug Pro folder within your prefix, and then you want to do wine Thug Pro launcher dot EXE. It's very wise to run the launcher first. It's like absolutely recommended. So you'll still get that error because I did not change the exe and I noticed that immediately. So in the Thug Pro folder, get rid of that underscore within the Thug Pro exe. Not really sure why it does that, but it doesn't matter. So run the, run the launcher again and it'll do it this time because the exe is there. Now, right now, I cannot get windowed, windowed, work, windowed mode to work, sorry. So do not select windowed mode it only works in full screen at the moment. I'm sorry, I haven't figured out why. Um, keyboard controls set the default. I haven't tested any game pads, so sorry as well. If you have any issues, feel free to reach out to me on the comments or on Discord. So go ahead, launch Thug Pro. It'll validate the files, it'll download them. I'm using a wired connection. Keep in mind that we've had issues with Wi-Fi connections. So I am using a wired ethernet connection. There you go, you're launching Thug Pro 0.60, I think it's eight or nine. So there we go. I'll show a couple more things within this video, including how to make a shortcut to your desktop. Um, this does work with custom levels, as you'll see later on in this video. I'm just showing that I am connecting to online. Remember to change your username. It's not a pro skater. Save your settings, don't be like me. Don't just go away without them. So you can see, Thug Pro Lobby's there. I didn't join any games, but I'm assuming since I connected to OpenSpy, everything will be working. Um, everything's there. So, from here, I believe we're going to check out the new level, Santa Monica, within this update. To prove that it is the new Thug Pro update. This is a Mac Mini, a really shitty Mac Mini, so... I'm sorry that it looks laggy on here. It's because of my hardware, not yours. So go ahead and quit when you're done. I don't know why I said that. But now we're gonna show that you can make a shortcut um, within um, your, your actual Mac and to just launch it from your desktop. So on the Wine Wiki, there's a Mac OS FAQ. So on the, the create shortcut section on 12.1, just copy all of that stuff, as you'll see, open the script editor. It's super easy, super easy. It may seem intimidating at first, but it's really easy. So there's the script editor. Um, go ahead and copy all of this stuff. It even has comments telling you what to do, so it's that easy. So go back to the script editor, paste it all in there. So the only things you'll need to edit is the 
um, location of the EXE. I recommend you do it to the launcher, but you don't have to. You can do it straight to the EXE once your launcher is configured however you want. So just follow the path that we did before. Um, it'll be almost identical to what I'm putting in, just not the um, username, unless your username is admin like me. So admin, local settings, application data, and then Thug Pro. And then you'll want to do, I'm doing the Thug Pro launcher, so I'll do thugproLauncher.exe, and that'll be the exe that's launching. So I'm showing right here, I'm going to exactly where it is, Thug Pro, and then thugprolauncher.exe. So the other thing you want to edit is the wine prefix you're using. If you're not using the default dot wine prefix, I, you have to change this. So I'm using dot wine hyphen tutorial. You want to change that. And that is the only thing you need to change within this. Now change it to an application file and name it to whatever you want, wherever you want. I'm naming it thug, thug pro launcher dot app on my desktop. And after that, you're done. Just exit out of the, the script editor, navigate to where your thing is, and thugprolauncher.app. It'll create a shortcut. And as you'll see, it'll launch the launcher, and you'll be all set. Again, you can navigate it to the actual EXE itself if you want. That's totally acceptable. I just recommend doing the launcher. You don't have to, though. You don't have to be like me. So again, I'm showing that it does indeed work. I'm sorry that it's kind of lengthy. This video is pretty lengthy, but it is to cover as much as I possibly can for the Mac users out there. Now, of course, if you have any questions, reach out to it on Discord or in the comments of this video. So now I'm gonna show you how to install the custom levels. You can navigate to thpsx.com slash community upload list and you'll find all the community uploads. I'm going to be installing only a level um, but you can kind of get the general idea of how things are installed um, by, by this method. So I'm going to filter it by custom levels. And I believe I went with THPSX Plaza V1 by Saturn. Very cool level. So go ahead and hit download. And it is downloading the zip file. And I do want to mention that merging does work in in Mac. Um, it does say replace when I do this, so just be mindful. So go ahead and extract that zip file, open it up, and I just went within the user folder. You can drag the user folder and merge it like that, but I just I went to the data folder. So took everything from that file, dropped it in the user folder, and it says replace, but it's going to merge the data file. So go ahead and replace it or merge. And I cleaned it up here by arranging my icons. Um, but yeah, it'll look like that. And then from there, you're all set to um, launch Thug Pro. You can launch it from your shortcut or you can launch it from the terminal, given you're in the prefix and you are um, in the directory of the exe. So again, I'll navigate to it and I'll run it and I'll val validate the files and We'll all have a fun time. This does support um, save files from Thug2 or um, .SKA or um, cap files. It supports all of that. It's all good. Um, the wine bo bottler didn't support that, so that's why I'm kind of using the terminal version right now. So there you go. There's your imported level. And yeah, that's the tutorial on how to install Thug Pro 0.6.0.0. X for whatever version this is currently works um, thank you all for watching if you have any questions again reach out on discord on the THBSX discord either me directly or in the help channel hope this works for you guys check out THBSX.com for custom levels and content have an amazing day and I hope to god this works